Thank you. Like, like she said, my name is Greg Hayes, and with me is Dr. Leo Volson. We're from Torrey Pines Logic in San Diego, California. The topic today is Lightspeed. Lightspeed is a method and a family of products that go after the non-radio frequency communications. So you can see in the top right-hand corner, uh, we, take, we, we take a lot of communications for granted in that we rely on uh, SATCOM, wireless, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular, and we know in the battlefield that's not always a choice. And even in some cases in, the, in, in our day-to-day -day lives, that's not a choice. Uh, radio frequencies can a lot of times be denied if we actually jam our, ourselves, if we're trying to counter a threat like a drone or an IED, we'll tend to jam the, the spectrum, which will, which will cripple our communications, traditional communications. Uh, it could also be congested, you know, rolling blackouts, uh, too many people trying to use a, a particular frequency. It could be not desired because every one of the RF communication methods give off a signature that can be detected and exploited. And also, too, it may not be available. I mean, if you're underwater, if you're a diver, traditional RF communications is not you know, e even physically possible. And in some cases, there's uh, operation conditions, like in the Navy, called MCON, or if you're handling uh, explosives or fuel, you, you cannot e emit a, a radio frequency. All that being said, these are the reasons why folks come to us to communicate is because light speed actually enables this method of communicating. We have about a 15-year history with uh, the US Navy, the Air Force, a little bit of the soft community, and uh, the guys that, that really are trying to um, put another tool in their toolbox to communicate. It's not going to be uh, the solution for every, every, every method. There is some significant challenges, uh, line of sight, uh, for example, uh, but in some cases it actually is uh, very doable. We have uh, some, some uh, examples here that we pass uh, voice, video, and data, all kinds of data. We do USB, we do full-blown ethernet, uh, all, all modes. We also do um, various frequencies of light. We can do ultraviolet underwater, we can do visible, we can do the infrared, we can do thermal, um, we do uh, out of band frequencies, and we also have a variety of ranges. Now, the whole premise behind light speed is the fact that one is we're not using radio frequencies, and two is we're not using lasers, we're actually using LEDs. So, very similar to like this remote control here. I push a button and it's actually pulsing and communicating with that box over there. It's a very similar fashion. So the LED actually produces a, a beam that typically is in a frequency not visible to the, to the operator and it actually is a very wide beam which gives you a lot of flexibility on, on power, size, and, and range as well. So we're, we're trying to go after the guys that are sort of the dismounted, disadvantaged uh, operator and we provide them the ability to communicate in, in a variety of frequencies. And these are some of the applications that are currently being used. We're providing the Navy the ability to communicate between ships whenever they're in a condition called MCON. We're uh, replacing the wires on the body. We're doing some projects with the uh, Air Force Research Lab in the Batman community to actually eliminate the uh, push-to-talk wires, the wires from the sensors uh, to the body, and just from the, uh, the, the torso to the, to the head and actually allow them to have uh, a wireless links. That's not Bluetooth, and it's not Wi-Fi, and it's not ultra-wideband, it's not anything in the RF frequency. Uh, we're doing uh, underwater communications, uh, some for the, uh, the combat divers. We're doing some demonstrations. We've done in the last two years, we've done the TE events where we've shown underwater links um, for voice and for data. And we're starting to get, to get into the vehicle-to-vehicle, -vehicle. so basically, autonomous or, or manned platforms wanting to communicate with each other to provide proximity um, position data, provide data links, uh, provide voice communications is all, is all possible. These are some examples that we're doing with the Air Force, the Navy, and the commercial side. The Air Force side, you can see a lot of it is sort of on the body. Um, the guys want to get rid of the wires, so we have like, these, these coin size uh, nodes that they place around different locations and it allows the communicating between the, between the coins. And we also are doing, um, we redesigned their signal light gun, so now when they're, they're sort of queuing a, 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 an aircraft to provide the, uh, the visible cue of the, the red, green, and white lights, they can also provide a voice communication as well because we're modulating one of these LEDs to pass the voice as well. So it's, it gives them a, a little bit more advantage on uh, denied or, or non-RF environments to actually be able to carry a conversation. This is an example of a, of a traditional binocular that we modified. 
and you can see the headset here and a little um, a USB port. This allows you to, to carry a voice conversation and pass a couple megabits of data, about three to five kilometers. And with a seven degree bino at three kilometers, you're, you're sort of painting a football field size. So you don't have to worry about the location or stability. You just basically, if he sees you, you see him, you're carrying a voice communications or, or passing data. <clears throat> this is the platform example that we were doing for the Navy. So two ships refuel at sea. They actually point these guys at each other. They're maintaining a separation distance, and they're, they're getting like a 10 megabit data pipe. Again, non-RF. These are, these are LEDs. So they're in, in, in full-blown MCON. They're not being detected. They're not being jammed. They're not being interfered with. And uh, it allows them to, uh, to communicate. So we actually are upstairs in booth 1448. And we have all this stuff and more. We'll be happy to show you uh, more about Lightspeed, or we can answer any questions offline. Thank you.